All right, in this video, I'm going to be changing the chain on my mountain bike. After I changed it on my road bike, I realized I should probably check the chains on all my other bikes, and it turns out this one was a little worn out. So I want to first take this one off, which is pretty easy to do because this one has one of those power links where you just compress it, unlink it, uh, and we'll make the chain the same length as this one, and then we'll put the new one on. So let's do that. I guess I should make sure the chain is the right length as it is. So back in the day when you had multiple chain rings, I used to put it in the biggest in the front, smallest in the back, and see if the pulleys were straight up and down. That's, that's kind of how I would gauge if the chain was the right length. But in today's one by world, you want to make sure that you have enough chain to be in big, big. So I'm going to shift into that, make sure we have enough chain left over. So I can see there and I'm, I'm in the big, big. And I definitely don't want to go any shorter than that because I wouldn't be able to use that. Of course, I would never ride in that gear because it's totally cross-chained right now. But if you had a one-by, then clearly that's about as short as you would want to go. So I'm going to take this one off, make the new one this length, and then put the new one on. Let's go do that. Taking this one off is super easy, like I said. All right, it was slack the chain, find your link. Let's get some standard pair of needle nose. And then kind of bend together those two links so you can compress this one. There's actually a tool for this too, but I do not have it, so I'm going to use my pliers. Kind of put it together like that. And then, if you can get that across there, you got to go in between the links because the outer plates have the plate on it and you just squeeze and pop it apart and then easy as that so much easier than a chain breaker I love these links so there's the old link old worn out chain coming right off now let's go make the new one let's go make the new one this length and put the new one on. Easy as that. So here is my new chain of choice. I went with the KMC because I put a KMC on my new bike and I really like the fact that they use the what they call their missing link. I got a new one of those. Brand new chain. It's the X9SL. 9 because it's 9 speed. Um, SL is super light. This is basically the most expensive and lightest one but it wasn't even that much because it's an old 9 speed chain and they're easy to come by, so that's what I went with. X9SL KMC. I don't even know what my old one was. I think it was a just a generic Shimano. Shimano. Oh, there it is. CN7701. So that's what was on there. So I'm going to count the number of links on this guy, the old one, and then make the new one the same length. Of course, you need a chain break to do that, unfortunately. And then, of course, I brought up the scale. Wait a difference, and then we'll put the new one on. So let's go ahead and do that. For the record, the old chain was about 3 30 seconds stretched out. So that's why I decided to change it. It's over a 16th, which is recommended. It's, it's not quite an 8th, so it shouldn't be wearing out the chain rings or cassette yet. So I'm going to change it out anyway. So let's open up this new chain, cut it to the right length, and put it on.
Okay, now that I got them the same length, let's see if there's a weight difference. So here's, that's how many lengths I took off, by the way. Comes with 116, and I took off that many, so just for reference. So the old one was a Shimano CN7701, says Durace on it, interestingly. Let's get the scale turned on and see what the old one weighed. The old one, 258. This is a 9-speed mountain chain. A Shimano, this is a KMC X9SL. And it weighs in at 250. Oh, 250. So, pretty close. 8 gram difference. A little bit lighter. Probably because of the hollowed out plates and hollow pins. So let's get the bike set back up. Put the new chain on the bike. Get all lubed up, ready to ride. Okay, here we got the new chain. All I have to do is wind it through, put the link on, tighten it up. Drop a little bit of lube on each of the links here. Make sure they're nice and lubed up. Okay, put one through on one side. The other one goes through the other way. And you just gotta bring them together. closely it will engage. So there we go. Chain installed. No chain maker required. That's why I love these chains. Go KMC. Alright, there we go. Shiny new chain on the mountain bike. Ready for another couple seasons. Awesome. Alright, thanks for watching this one. Quick mountain bike chain install. As always, get out there, enjoy your rides, have fun on your bikes, and keep up on your maintenance so you don't wear out your parts. Alright, thanks for watching. Enjoy your ride.